The wait is officially over, One UI 6.0 is finally out. There is a lot of stuff that is new from the brand new camera UI to the new quick toggle area. We're gonna talk about everything. I've installed it on my Galaxy S23 Ultra using it for a few hours now and here are my thoughts about all the new features that you should expect when you install the One UI 6.0 on your phone. Now this is a beta version so obviously there's going to be some bugs so for now I wouldn't really recommend anyone to install it just yet but for those who are brave enough to try and they want problems in their life then definitely this is one us 6.0 for the S23 lineup, currently only out in three countries, so slowly they're gonna move the beta to more markets. All right, let's get down to the business, which is what is new. And first up, as we talked about before, the biggest visual UI change is that brand new quick setting toggle area. It's a full on refinement, which looks really, really good. And it works really nicely with the color palette theming. I'm really enjoying this look, but let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Next up, one US 6.0 officially brings the biggest change to Samsung emojis. Gone are those overly cartoonish emojis from the past and now we have something that is a combination of Google's Android emojis and Samsung's old emojis. I personally like this, but some people have preferred the older look. I gotta say this is more tamed and something that I would prefer. Again, it will come down to personal preference, but these look really nice. Moving on to the notifications, things are looking more refined. There's a bit more space between each notification and just overall a very good look. Now, Samsung has finally implemented their own version of this music player animation, which it looks to have this nice spiral animation. It's different, but kind of similar implementation to how Google did things with the stock Android, but overall this looks good as well. One UI 6.0 also brings a brand new refined camera UI. First thing that will get your attention is the new megapixel count. It looks extremely polished with just touch of a button. You can switch from 12 megapixel to 50, all the way to 200 megapixels. We also have new advanced intelligence option, which is basically a quality optimization tool that lets you decide between the optimization of image versus the actual speed of taking the image. So by default, it is set to maximum, but for those who want faster shutter speed, you can set to medium or to minimum, which is going to make things really, really quick. Next up, Samsung has updated their weather application with the One UI 6.0. I've already loved their past implementation, so this is now even more refined. One UI 6.0 also brings a new camera widget, which is basically a custom camera widget that you can set based on whatever camera mode you prefer for that quick picture action. For example, if you like to take portrait mode photos a lot, then you can set the portrait camera widget on your home screen. With this, you can quickly jump into portrait image taking action right from the home screen. Also, with One UI 6.0, you can do a very powerful action which is pasting multiple photos across different applications at the same time. It works really good even with the beta one with my testing so finally a much needed feature coming with the One UI 6.0. There's also a new change to the customization of the lock screen, particularly with the clock. So now you can actually move this around. And right now with the beta one, it is broken. So it doesn't really apply really well. But with the future versions, obviously this will be fixed. Now, what about the animation and the smoothness? Now, One UI 6.0 does feel a bit more polished in my testing, but it feels very smooth when I'm moving around, opening applications, and just scrolling up and down. But when it comes to exiting applications, the animation system is kind of broken, so it isn't as swift. I can't open applications very quickly like I was doing before, so this is something that's gonna get optimized and fixed with the future One UI 6.0 beta versions. So these were some of the new changes with the One UI 6.0. Of course, this is the beginning with the beta one, with this, Samsung's gonna add more and more features until we see the final official version rolling out to public, probably in the next two months. So far, I'm loving the new quick setting panel along with the new animations with the music player, as well as the new camera UI, which now lets you choose the megapixel count very swiftly without going into aspect ratio settings. Let me know what your favorite feature is in the comments below. I'll definitely do an updated video as we find out more features and as we receive more beta updates in the coming weeks and months so definitely subscribe with that being said i'll see you guys later peace out